Hello guys, welcome and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can beautify the table visual in Apache Superset. So here I have prepared an example where you can see we have this in invoice. You can see the name, the invoice number, then a, a, a photo. You can change it with any image or anything that you want. Like for each row, you can have a different photo. And uh, then we have due date in a format. Then so this is not like uh, you can just convert it into string, but uh, ignore this part. But you can see here I have converted it into currency. So added dollar, then converted into bold. Then here you can see I have converted this into pill shape and other things. So basically, uh, this is very useful when you don't have to export the table and you just want it to be interactive and beautiful. So in that scenario, you can use this uh, kind of this technique to beautify your table. So for this, I actually selected one example. I just went through Google and selected one example how people are beautifying in Power BI. So you can see this is what I selected and I decided to go with this theme. I found it on Google. Like they have this situation where you can see they have multiple things in one specific cell. Then here again, two things and so on. So just to replicate this, this is built in Power BI according to what they are saying. This is Power BI, but uh, I wanted it to be in our Apache superset. So that's why I decided to go with this specific theme. So in order to do that, I'll start from scratch. I'll just go here and let me move it here. Let's do it. Then click on chat. Here I'm selecting invoice and I'm going to select the table, create new. In this also I used, I'll also show you how I use chat GPT uh, because it will be very easy if you can just write down the comment and it will be, it will give you HTML code for it and it works. So let me quickly select, see what I have selected first. So name. Okay, so I'm just going to select first name then let me quickly select date amount status so you know a state then amount then payment status and i believe last column is payment method so let's have payment method now if you just click over here it will show something like this this is also good but not that good so first thing I'm going to go here and customize and select and select actually cell bars and update chart. Now uh, here we have options like you can select min width, align and so on, but I'm not going to touch it. And here you have custom formatter like how you want it to be. But again, I'm not going to use this one because this is just like you can select if this is suck, then select this color and uh, it will just show you according to that but i'm not going to use it so let's skip this part and let's directly move into the data part so like this is how it will show but i don't like it much so i mean it's good but not uh, that what we want so let me go back to the data tab and here now the first challenge we have is we want to add three different things in one specific cell okay so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the first column because we want to add multiple things in one go. So I'm going to go here and just to concat to show how it works. So here in concat, I'm going to just show you hello and then first name. You can see when I update it, it is just going to, it's, it's like a, it is just going to show you hello and then the first name. So that's very much straightforward. but here, what I can do is I can just add a BR tag. BR stands for break and it will break this line and move to new line, just like slash and characters. If you are familiar with like other languages and here, uh, let me do one thing. What we want is first the first name. Then we need the BR tag and then we don't have any invoice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to INV, add INV dash here and then one more comma and just add a product ID. 
because we don't have invoice so i'm just going to use product id as an invoice and just to show for this demo if i update it now you can see we have first name and we have this invoice now in order to do this uh what i have prepared is i have prepared this code where you can just see there is everything we have uh you have image, then we have div, then we have this uh, first span where you have first name. This is going to apply that uh, specific font weight to first name. Then we have second span where you have font size applied to this specific thing. And then you have div. So I have prepared this and I you can just use chat GPT. I will show you how and just use it. So I'm just going to paste it here again this thing is hosted on the same page i will put this link in the description so you can just use that and save this update chart now you can see we have this name there this and so basically the issue with the image is i'm just using one static image but if you have somewhere you have image name hosted and that image path is placed in the in one of the columns you can just use that column and it will dynamically change image for each of these row but i don't have that as of now so i'm not going to use it it's pretty much straightforward html code then now i want it to be changed the name should not be the first name what they have is something like uh, invoice so i'm just going to call it invoice you can just use it and save so if you update the chart it is going to save it as invoice then invoice date i'm just going to change it to date sometime it will not reflect the date so what you can do just add a space here and save it sometimes it will not change the name even if you see it here it will not change it here you can just add a space and then it will reflect that over here then we have amount so in amount what i did i just added same thing uh concat then inside here i just added uh, a b stands for port and here i missed uh, this thing okay inside here i'll just put a comma then amount then this here what i can do i can just simply add dollar so we have bold then a dollar then the amount and then this you can change it to rupee or anything that you want but i have so i don't have that symbol on my keyboard and i, I did some blender here okay i missed a comma so now you can see the amount is bold and dollar is added similarly you can convert this state into any format that you want to be displayed and now we will work on payment status so for payment status what i did i prepared you can use this code as it is but what i'm going to show you is i just prepared a gpt chat gpt prompt saying that you can use for anything that you want you can just use it like uh, I want to peel shape background for a selected column for and so on and you can use the following syntax like this is how it should return like it needs to be a concatenate and it needs to be a div and so on and I just ran it over here you can see the same thing is here and it created something like this so if I copy this uh, just copy this part don't copy anything else we don't need these things and make sure these values are correct so for me these are like uh, most likely i believe it, those are matching so paid partially paid and so on so you can just use this one or that one and let me go here it's in payment status i'm going to go here and paste it and save i think it's not going to work okay fine let me check because there is a payment status over here hmm. now you can see it is unpaid paid 
So let me quickly explain what this is. So again, what we are doing for each individual cell, we have prepared a div tag. Inside that we have added some style. This is to create till, added some padding, border and so on, font size, font width. Now, now for adding background color and font color, we are going to check the payment status. So while concatenating, we are using a case statement specifying if the, oops, specifying if the payment status is paid, then use this background color and this font color. If the payment status is partially paired, then use this background color and this and so on. Then at the end, we have closed that div. So basically the style will start here and it is going to end here, this, this uh, single quote. Then we have added our column name. It's in double quote because the column name has a space in it. So it needs to be in double quote. And at the end, we have a div tag that is going to close this tag. And then we have concatenated it and then you can see it is headed here. So this is how I have created that table. You can just save it and let me add it to invoice and example table. Oops. It is added here. Column. It is getting stuck. Okay. Now you can just edit the column and edit the dashboard. Pull it all the way here. And save it. Okay, there was one more column location that I missed, but okay, that's that should be fine. Now, in order to change, there are a few more things that I changed here that I will just quickly show you. That see, for example, here you can see all the column, all the rows are having white color, and the column header is having a different color here. Also, you can see the columns, alternate co rows are having different color, but I want it to be white. So what I can do, I just go to edit dashboard, click here. Edit CSS. Here you can see the background color. So chart ID 14 is the table. Okay. One more thing I can show you that, uh, let me discard it. How will you select what you need to update? So again, I showed it in the card uh, video, customizing card, I'll show you here as well. Just go and right click, click on inspect. Our report is rendered, now you can see. For example, if I want it to be, I want to change background color of this or something like that, you can just go here. Right click, copy, inside that you can see copy selector, okay. If you copy the selector, then it will give you for that specific cell. So now you can see we have this chart ID 14 div div this thing. We If you want it to be for all the TRs, you can just remove this part. It will give you TR. So here I can just copy this part to show you what I am doing. The same thing, that's what I said. So if I want to only, so what PR stands for? So TR stands for table row. I want it to be applied for all the table row. I'll just remove this part. Just put a curly bracket here or curly braces and just put background color equal to whatever I want and it will show you background color here. What I have selected is uh, 3F that stands for like white color. So that is what uh, FFF stands for. Then uh, here also I have added some other things. For example, if I want, uh, this is for table header. So for this thing, I want like a specific color. So I have just selected this TH again, same way. 
here you can see I want it to be applied for a TH that is table header. So it selected table header and I wanted to use a different background color for the entire chat. That's why this uh, class is. So again, I use same way to select a specific class. So this is how you can use uh, this CSS to customize your table further. Like if you want it to be customized more than what we have, then you can use this CSS. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.